So, welcome to my next tutorial. This is next. And in the last part, uh, we already created a three dimensional um, world terrain. And in this terrain, um, we simply set up uh, along the x and the z axis, and we didn't give any of these vertices any height. It's dynamically created, which means that we simply could change now the size of the terrain, the values, and create uh, simply a bigger terrain. So, um, today I would like to um, introduce some very basic camera control, how to move the camera. And yeah, let's just start right with that. We would like to walk around into our um, three-dimensional world and therefore the first thing which we actually set up is a, a variable which defines our float um, speed. Speed, let's call it actually move speed. It's the speed which we're gonna move around and it will be uh, let's see, 1.2 should be just all right. So, yeah, then the next thing we would need now some uh, keyboard and or mouse uh, inputs. Therefore, we need some event handler uh, because we're going to have a lot of event handlers. I just simply create a new method over here calling it initialize initialize uh, event handler and that's where we gonna add all of our event handlers from now on this initialize event handler we actually call right after initializing the graphics Let's do it right now, so I'm not forgetting it. And yeah, we already created two event handlers for the um, vertex buffer being created. Actually, this one we can move already down. And for when the index buffer is being created. Let's move these two down. And yo, that's it. So, over here um, we set up already our camera position, our look at vector and the camera up vector. What we are going to do now, we are going to alter um, with some keyboard, um, keyboard or mouse actions and some of these uh, values over here. So, this is simply because it's initialized graphics, it's being called in the very beginning. Um, only our initial camera position or yeah initial camera setup actually the point is um, yeah we're gonna add this now during the thing for that we need now the two event handlers let's Call them first here. Uh, this key, which one? Yeah, let's do the key down first. Uh, plus equals new key event handler. And what we're gonna do, uh, we call it on key down. So, what is it? Damn it on key down and what am I doing here? Silly. The second one this mouse I gonna use a scroll for 
Well, let's take the wheel mouse wheel plus equals new mouse event handler and uh, we call it on mouse um, on mouse scroll. So okay. Now we need to create these two functions, private, uh, these two methods, private void on mouse down, object sender and uh, mouse like, uh, key, 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 on key down, object sender and key event where is it? key event arguments e and a second one let's copy this one um, and this was on mouse scroll and here we need to change it obviously to um, mouse event arguments. So once this is done, um, yeah, we called them properly, and we called it up here. Let's go straight into it on key down. Let's do it first. Um, what control would I like to have? Let's use a standard gaming control with my W to move forward, S to move backwards, A to move left and D to move right. Therefore, uh, let's make a switch key uh, E dot key code and now our cases, first case would be keys dot w and here what we wanna do on w we actually would like to change our um, camera position so cam position and due to the fact that we look now forward would be into our screen would be along the set axis um, we need to simply uh, change the the set axis so the cam position dot set plus equals the uh, speed the move speed our standard speed we're moving around and that's it already for now break then the second one would be case case dot um, let's do to the right d um, and here camera position along the x we want to go right x plus uh, equals move speed so what is it here plus break so um, for the other two we simply can copy these two so we go forward and we go to the right and now simply the opposite of the W is the S key and we simply go minus equals and the opposite of the D key will be the A key instead of right going to the left and this is we achieve this by minus equal and I would like to go up and down somehow and I put this on the um, scroll we simply could also do it with another key to go up and down but uh, we can simply use the mouse wheel for that and how we do that 
e dot delta gives us the information for the scrolling and we simply set our cam position let's cam position dot y equals um, not plus equals actually our delta multiplied with we need to make it much much smaller because the delta would be too big of a step and so we actually mu multiply the e dot delta with 0 0.001 and that's it already so scrolling up and down and we need to check still the direction if we want to go plus or minus here to simply change the direction of the scrolling um, we simply would need to change the plus into a minus so this is actually everything we have done to um, move our camera but this will lead to a little bit of a problem yeah here we go so we scroll and what we see we actually bend this whole thing a little bit now we are totally in bird's perspective and we make some kind of curve if we go to the left I'm gonna press the A now it does also some weird stuff in the other direction it turns our terrain so now let's try to move uh, forward by pressing the W key and it also does not work it seems but actually it works our camera is moving but the problem with that is that our look at vector is still staying at the very same spot so when we are moving the camera the camera keeps looking on the very same spot when I'm moving my camera up on the y-axis um, let's move it up it keeps looking at the same spot which we defined which is somewhere over here uh, and when we go down and go closer to the spot suddenly now we look up to that spot so and the same happens when we when we go to the left we keep looking onto this spot in the in the field it's somewhere over here uh, uh, or other side over here um, so what we need to change now is we kind of need to set our look at vector um, we ha have to link it somehow to our position so initially we set our position like this and the camera look at, at this vector and on the setup camera down here before we actually need it the first time this look at we're gonna set up now this cam look at why are you doing that to me cam look at dot let's go for the x first equals um, mouse no, equals cam position dot x and this actually has to stay the same so the cam look at equals the cam position um, which we see already over here too is the same as 2 over there and let's copy that let's do it for the y-axis the y-axis is simply one less than the y-axis of camera position so we need to at the y-axis one uh, we need to subtract one from the camera position y-axis and the set axis is one one plus so camera position plus one equals the look at set so camera look at set equals the position set plus one 
if we start it now okay I scroll down I scroll up it seems to work I can move to the left I can move to the right I can move to the front and to the back yeah I would like to change the direction of the scrolling actually to do it the other way around yeah so now now it feels quite natural now we can move it around simple and very basic front backwards left and right and up and down this is a very basic camera moving uh, introduction if we want to let this whole thing rotate now we need to add some more stuff and actually have to also consider our forward moving so we have to uh, add here some some more stuff so we are able to move still forward once we have uh, rotated ourselves around one axis but we're not gonna do this now in this tutorial one last thing the camera look at which is the initial um, at the initial camera position we never come to we could give it any value now because whenever we set up the camera and this is the first this we're gonna call even the first time before we use the camera look at at all we set it up over here which means that we don't need this line at all anymore so we can delete it and yeah this concludes this tutorial about some basic movements in the next tutorial I would like to make some more advanced camera movements some rotations and yeah thank you for watching see you guys